Okay, so quarterfinal draw is done here with us. Uh, Thomas de la, de la Meilleure, Club Bruges. What's your first take on the draw playing against Pauk? Well, um, of course, it's a tough draw. Pauk is a very good team. They played a wonderful game yesterday. Um, so it will be sportively very interesting to see what happens. Um, but we'll do our best to, to make it happen. And what about uh, the second leg will be played in Greece, the first leg at home. Might this be a disadvantage maybe for your team? Well, of course, we always prefer to, to start away game and then you play the reverse game, the second leg at home. With supporters, we can do an amazing game, an amazing, uh, wonderful uh, second leg. But now it's the other way around and we'll try to do our best at home and then try to take the win over the line uh, away game. Yeah. Would, what would it mean for the club, Club Bruges, to make it into the semi-finals? Yeah, it would be a wonderful experience for our team to, to achieve the semi-finals. We're already happy to be here. Uh, but we'll do our best to, to make it to the semi-finals and then you know, we'll never know what happens in a semi-finals. So uh, it will be a wonderful experience for, uh, for the entire club. Yeah. Good luck then. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, welcome uh, Mr. Ahmed El Mohammadi for Aston Villa. The quarter-final draw is accomplished. What is your take on, uh, on this uh, quarter-final draw playing against uh, Lille? Yeah, we uh, first, you know, we're happy to make it to the quarter-final. You know, um, a tough game against Ajax, home and away. So uh, we managed to get through. Um, yeah, another tough one against Lille. So it's going to be a good one. Uh, so we're all uh, looking forward to the game. Uh, Lille is a, is a big team in this competition. So uh, it's going to be a, another tough one. Yes, against the strong French side, actually, with Lille. Yeah? What is your expectation? Yeah, Lille, uh, they got um, some uh, good players, experienced manager there, and um, they're doing well in the league as well. So, um, And they're doing well in this competition. So they got experience in this uh, competition. Um, so, yeah, we uh, of course, we have a good manager as well who's been in Europe, won the European competitions before. So that's uh, that's great for us. And then we, we have uh, some uh, great players in the team who's been in Europe before. Good experience in this competition. So, uh, yeah, we're um, looking forward to the game. It's going to be uh, an exciting one. This time the first leg will be played at home. So, uh, might this be a disadvantage? Um, it's the first time for us, you know, to be fair, you know, um, to play at home for the, for the first leg. So, um, it's going to be uh, uh, rocking at Villa Park, you know, as usual. You know, the atmosphere last night was unbelievable against Ajax. So, yeah, the fans will be exciting for the, for the game. Yeah, so, um, can't wait for it. <laughs> Good luck and thank you very much, sir. Thank you. So, welcome. The draw has just been accomplished and it's Olympiakos against Fenerbahce. What is your first take on that? Oh, it's been a very interesting match. Uh, two teams geographically very, very near. So, geographically and geopolitical, very, very interesting, but also sportively is the most, uh, most important. Big team from Greece, big team from, uh, from Turkey. We expect a very tight, a very tight uh, two legs. But obviously, we hope to be in the semi-finals. We hope at least to to match the the this history of Fenerbahce and to be as as further as possible in this in this competition. So we hope that now we go to Athens in the quarterfinals and we return to Athens in the finals. And best case, reach the final in Athens then at the end, yeah, of the competition. Obviously, best case not only to reach the final but to win it, of course, because finals are not to be played, are to be won. And you play the first leg uh, away, the second leg at home. Is this an advantage for your team? Theoretically, yes, but uh, because of our tight schedule in terms of fixtures, we have the, the Turkish league. Also, we have the Super Cup, Turkish Super Cup in the middle of uh, both, both legs. So it will be very challenging for us. But theoretically, yes, playing at home with our fans will be obviously a strong point in our, in our behalf. Thank you very much and good luck, sir. Okay, so welcome and congratulations. Uh, Quarter-final draw. Olympiakos made it in a dramatic style last night. What is your take now? You will play Fenerbahce. What an incredible draw, I have to say. It was a very, very night, good night for the Greek football. For both clubs. Pauk won 5-1 uh, at home. And Olympiakos 6-1 away. And I think this is the best, uh, as our coach said, remontada in the history of European competition from one club. We feel very proud. Life is not stopping here, it's going on. And now the team start already the preparation to play against Fenerbahce. Uh, we respect the uh, Turkish club, is one of the historical in Europe and in their country. We have uh, played again against them in the past. And I think that uh, will be two very difficult matches in Piraeus and in Istanbul. And I hope Olympiakos will be the best team and qualify. 
And make it obviously to the final in Athens. What is your take on that? It's dream for every team to go to the final when you are playing in the eight quarterfinals. Then uh, I think everyone has the same chances. We'll do our best. You will play the first leg at home, the second leg away. Might this be a disadvantage for your team? No, as you've seen in the previous match, we lost home 4-1 and we won away 6-1. Uh, we would like the second result, but not the first one. So I think we will be more careful in the first match. And uh, our coach know how to prepare the team on the best way now. Thank you very much and good luck.